Namaste everyone and welcome to the Monday morning meditation. Um, before we start, let's ask for divine blessing, shall we? To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Divine Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers. Personally, to my teacher, Master Tsuhok Sui, Mahaguji Meiling, we humbly invoke for divine light, divine love, guidance, help, healing, divine protection. We thank you in full faith, so be it. All right, so it was a very powerful UPW with, geez, easily 30, 40,000 people. Because there's 12,000 connections, so we look at the screen, there's easily two, three people with each one of them. Anyway, I want to share that with you because with more people getting on the spiritual path, a lot more spiritual energy pouring to the earth, it is what will heal the planet. It reminds me of what my, my teacher said many years ago. He said, there's this principle of ensoulment. And how he came up with it was he was just looking out the window one day. I don't know if he was in the plane, the car. And he saw a planet, not a planet, he saw a place, like a city, where there's not as much spiritual light coming in, and it looked gloomy, dark, the people were not happy, people were poor, having difficulty in their life, everything was in shambles, crime was up. And then when he was looking again, he saw another city where there's so much light pouring down, you know, just like those alien movies, but in a good way, so much pouring down, and that air was lit up, people were happy, uh, there was commerce, there was, people were kind to each other, there was order, and then he said, ah, principle of ensoulment. Just like for us, when the soul, the energy of the soul is pouring down our spiritual connection, our spiritual cord, and in our bodies, it controls our chakras. Remember, just to have a quick recap, each of your chakras not only have physical functions, they have psychological functions. Your basic chakra, the base of your spine, is in charge of your survival, productivity, and making money. Your sex center is in charge of pro, uh, procreation, sexual pleasure. Your navel chakra is in charge of psychologically instinct, right? Soul plexus, front and back, love for oneself. The heart center, love for others. The throat chakra, knowledge or concrete thinking. The ajna, or what in India say, agnya, is for strategic thinking, seeing the big picture. Right? And understanding. The forehead chakra is for clairvoyance and seeing energy and a higher form of intuition. Crown chakra, intuition as well as a, the entryway for spiritual energy. And so, what happens is this. If you don't have the controlling force of the soul coming in, the basic chakra in charge of productivity, that means this person would go steal, kill, and do whatever else to survive, like a caveman. It is the influence of the higher soul entering the ensoulment process that allows the basic chakra to do what it needs to do, but at the same time, working under certain parameters. Those parameters are set by the higher soul. So when people say that they have um, a conflict, always an inner fight between the higher nature and lower nature, the lower nature is basically the instinctive programming of all your chakras. All your chakras have their own instinctive program. Like as I said earlier, the basic chakra is in charge of money and productivity. So that's its job, to keep the organism alive, to survive, and thrive. That's the basic chakra. But without the influence of the higher soul, that means he goes, okay, I'll do whatever it takes. Make sense? See, so with the other chakras. So the whole idea here is, if there's insolment, the higher nature, the spiritual self, is in control. Without the presence of that higher spiritual presence, the lower nature takes over. The lower nature is the basic instinctive qualities and tendencies that chakras have. And so imagine multiplying that to an entire city, entire country, the entire world. So as long as there's lack of spiritual influence, there will always be chaos. And so when he told me that, he says, principle of insolvent, very, very, very important. That's why the more people who do meditation twin hearts, the more people that do meditation, that is the only way to really heal the planet. Because anything else that you do, you're trying to do it down here. Without the influence of the spiritual self of each person, influence of great spiritual teachers, angels, you know, celestial beings, God, without the influence from above, the lower takes over. Make sense? So when I heard that, this is like, geez, 20 some years ago. That's what triggered me to start our phone conference because before all this video and all that's happening, it was, we literally picked up the phone. Okay, you know, calling tree, call all your friends, get on the phone, we'll do meditation together. That was the inspiration for me because, oh, that'll be the hope of the planet. 
So the more people that meditate, the more spiritual energy comes in, the more we anchor this light. Sounds familiar? Anchor light? <laughs> Make sense? So when we keep doing this meditation, we're not just healing ourselves, we're helping heal the planet. And that's why after the meditation, you notice we bless the earth, you know, we bless the earth like this, then afterwards we bless the earth from our feet and the base of our spine, we project golden light to the earth. We're healing the planet because we're basically taking that energy through us, anchoring it down to, to the ground. And the beautiful thing about this is, it does both. As we become the channel to do this, our energy field, uh, energy fields, and energy fields, our energy centers are being purified because as the energy passes through, a lot of that negative energy is disintegrated. Make sense? Then simultaneously, the divine energy going through us is able to penetrate deep into the ground because we are the conduits. And the third benefit is you generate good karma. <laughs> what else do you want? You get cleanse. You get to help bless the planet, and you generate good luck for yourself, and you have inner peace. Make sense? Not too bad for just closing your eyes, oh, and doing all that stuff for just for a few minutes, and listen, listen to me yak for a few minutes before that. Not too bad. That's why we're doing this. And I'm sharing this with you because it made me really think, why is it important to have group work? It's important to have group work because it allows more souls to participate, with more souls, more conduits, more blessings to mo for Mother Earth. That will be the true healing for the planet. And that's why you notice we bless politicians, we bless you know, hospitals, we bless people, caregivers. We're not really doing the blessing, it's just too complicated to explain. By the way, we're the energy channels for these blessings. If you say we bless, when you say we, after we could be us and those big guys upstairs. Make sense? Now, before we do the meditation, I just want to share something with you that um, my teacher, Grand Master, just said many years ago. He shared it with one of my colleagues. And this really made it real for me. He was saying, you know, we are cells, cells, you know, little cells in a gigantic being called Mother Earth. Okay? And he said, if you want to understand more a little about chakras, this is how it works. Our crown chakras, the crown center, the lotus flower on top of our head. This crown chakras, if you put it all together, all the beings of the earth, human beings, angelic beings, animals, all beings put together. If you put together all their crown chakras, that is the heart chakra of the planet. I go, what? Then I realized, oh, let me see, like Photoshop. You know when you Photoshop, you, you have an image, and then you zoom in out, zoom in out, uh, no, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and then you get to see the, the pixels. So just imagine, if you took the heart chakra of the planet Earth, and you zoomed in, they go, ooh, that's Joe's crown, ooh, that's Mary's crown, that's so-and-so's crown. Now you say, okay, then what? Do you realize the implication of that? That means, our spiritual development, as each of us activate our crown, allow more divine energy to come down, we are actually helping the planet evolve because we're stimulating the heart of the planet. And if you already know, well, some of you have not been with me long enough, the secret in stimulating the crown is the heart. So if we keep activating the heart chakra meditation to us, this will activate this guy. When this guy gets activated, more spiritual energy come down. Well, guess what? Whenever we do our meditation and our crown chakras are getting activated, that means collectively the heart chakra of the planet is getting bigger. That means the crown chakra of the planet is getting bigger, allowing more divine energy coming down to the earth. That is the true salvation of the planet. So whether you like it or not, you're part of it. <laughs> That's the way it is. You might as well participate. So if you really truly want to have a evolution of the planet, the transformation of the planet, each of us have to do our part. Get your ass and meditate. <laughs> ass is your basic chakra. You know, sit down and meditate. I'm kidding. Make sense? So, because of that, that really inspired me. It says, principle of ensoulment. When a city has a lot of divine energy coming down, the city, the people are ensouled, they thrive and they prosper. The lack of it, they become corrupted and get worse. They degenerate, degenerate. Oh, wow. So could you imagine if a big part of the planet meditates, blesses the earth, 
blesses each other. That be the antidote for all the crime and everything else that's happening. Now, I'm not that idealistic that with one meditation, ping, everything changes. But it's gradual because there's one more factor to consider. Whatever happens physically happens energetically. So as we keep changing the energy of the planet, activating the crown chakras of every person, every being, we're activating the heart chakra of the planet simultaneously. We're directing that energy to bless people, bless politicians, bless uh, caregivers, essential workers, bless the world, the finances, so on and so on. We're doing many things simultaneously. And yes, each one of us can make a difference. All right? So I hope you understand why we do this. It's not because, hey, we've got nothing else to do. Because it's our duty as a world citizen. You like it or not? <laughs> we're part of it. We might as well contribute in a very good way. That's why the more people you can bring to meditation, and it doesn't have to be just with me or whatever. It could be anyone. Just make sure the meditation involves what? Blessing the earth, bring down the spiritual energy, blessing people. Then that energy goes through. That's why we do meditation, twin hearts, great invocation, and there are many other different prayers. So you notice our meditation, our prayer, it's not like me, 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 I, I, I. You notice that? It's always blessing the earth, blessing the planet, because when you focus on others, you're taken care of. St. Francis says, it is in giving that you receive. Make sense? So whenever we do our meditation, we're stimulating our crown. We're actually awakening the heart of the planet. When I heard that, I go, that's something I can bite on and never let go. And that's why we keep pushing you to do the meditation because all of you are contributing to the betterment of the world. Let's meditate. To the Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, we humbly ask for your blessings. To all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, spiritual helpers, thank you for your immense blessings. To my teacher, Master Tohokusui, Mahaguji Mailing, thank you for your blessings and love and light. In full faith, so be it. All right. So gently tap the center of your chest. Tap your crown. Put your hand like this. Be aware of your heart. We'll do meditation twin hearts. As taught to us by my teacher, Grand Master Tohokusui. Be aware of your hearts and your hands. Say, our hearts are one. Now be aware of your heart and project beautiful pink light from your heart through your hands to the earth. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there's hatred anywhere in the world, let me, un let me sow unconditional love. Where there's injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Where there's doubt, faith, where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light, sadness, joy. May every person, every being on earth be blessed with peace, with love, with a spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation, with hope and with faith, with light and with lots of joy. So be it. Bless your family, your friends, the people you know who are in need with peace and with love. The ones who are having difficulties in life, bless them with hope and with faith and a better tomorrow. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Continue flooding the earth with so much beautiful pink light. Let all be blessed without exception. So be it. Now, be aware of your crown the center of your crown, just be aware of your crown. Simultaneously be aware of your heart, inhale. Lift the love from your heart up to the top of your head, exhale. Again, be aware of your heart, inhale. Be aware of your crown, exhale. Once more, be aware of your heart, inhale. Be aware of your crown, exhale. And stay there. Be aware of your crown in your hands. Imagine golden light from your crown pouring out of your hands. And bless Mother Earth. From the heart of God, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with loving kindness. Let all be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. Bless your family, your friends, the people you live with, you work with, with peace, love, and kindness. 
that's the city you live in, the state, the country, the surrounding areas, and let the blessing spread throughout the entire earth. So be it. Our crowns are one. We are one. May all be blessed with peace, loving kindness, without exception. So be it, so be it, and so it is. So it is. Now, be aware of your heart and your crown at the same time. Take a deep breath. Exhale, project golden light out of your hands and flood the earth. Again, be aware of your heart and crown. Take a deep breath. Be aware of your hands. Project golden light to the world. So be it. Keep going. One more time. Heart and crown. Take a deep breath. Project golden light. Our hearts are one. Our crowns are one. Our souls are one. Our spirits are one. From the center of the heart of all loving God, through our soul, to our entire being, may every person, every being on earth, in the higher worlds, middle worlds, as well as the lower worlds, may all beings in every and all dimensions be blessed with God's unconditional love and kindness. May all be blessed with inner peace and inner healing. May all be blessed with understanding, with harmony, goodwill, and especially the willingness to do good. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Now just keep your tongue on your palate, be still, and just let the energy flow through. To intensify the flow of energy, will now chant Om Mani Padme Hum, the universal mantra of mercy and compassion. Om Mani Padme Hum 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 Now lower your hands on your lap. Keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Just be still. On top of your crown, imagine a beautiful golden flame, a golden star or golden sun. Just be still. Now be aware of your heart. Send a stream of love from your heart up, up to the throat, to the center of your head, up, up to your crown, past your crown, and into that beautiful golden light. Just stay there. Your entire awareness is now inside that golden light. Just listen to the mantra Om. Om. Be still. Om Your awareness 
your entire consciousness has already melted deep into that golden light. You are that golden light. Just listen. Ah, om Mani Padme Hum Be still. Be aware of the silence and just simply let go and let things be now. Just be receptive. Let go now. You, the soul, are immersed in an ocean of brilliant light. You, the soul, are swimming in an ocean of divine, unconditional love. You, the soul, are empowered with goodwill and the will to do good. So be it. Be still. We'll add more energy. Just be receptive. We are one. Gently, very slowly, come back to your body. Move your fingers, move your toes. Gently and slowly come back to your body right now. Take your time. When you're ready, raise your hands again. So imagine all your loved ones in front of you. Fill them all with golden light. May all of them be blessed with good health, with happiness, with abundance and prosperity, and spirituality. So be it. May all be blessed with peace, with love, and with healing. So be it. May all be blessed without exception. So be it, so be it, and so it is. Bless all the people who are sick right now with divine healing light. Bless all the caregivers, the healthcare professionals with divine healing light and divine protection. So be it. Bless all our leaders, politicians on all levels with unconditional love in their hearts to serve their community all the way up to their country and the world. So be it. Bless them with the wisdom and the courage to do what is right for the benefit of the many. So be it. Let all be blessed. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Now aim your hands down. Focus on your feet, the base of your spine and your hands. Just flood the earth below us with golden light. And verbally repeat after me. 
as you imagine all that gold in that point deep into the, the heart of the earth. <clears throat> From the heart, God, may every person, every being on earth be blessed. So be it. Let our beloved Mother Earth be blessed, regenerated and revitalized. Blessings be to Mother Earth. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Keep blessing the earth. Be aware of your feet, the base of your spine, and your hands. If you're sensitive, you might actually feel like you're being pulled down into the earth. That's basically anchoring or rooting or grounding, whatever word you want to use. Let that divine light be anchored deep in the earth. So be it. May every person, every being be divinely blessed. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Let's give thanks to the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother. Thank you to all the spiritual elders, Holy Masters, Saints, Archangels, Holy Angels, Spiritual Helpers. Thank you for your immense blessings. In full faith. To my teacher, Master Chakoksi, Mahagujmani, thank you. In full faith, so be it. All right. I hope you enjoyed the meditation. It was a short talk, a meditation. Um, we will see you tonight for the 6 p.m. This is California time now, okay? 6 p.m. Uh, Anchor the Light Meditation. All right. I hope you got something out of that short lecture. Uh, it's just something to think about, you know, that there's individuality, but there's also oneness. Interesting paradox, isn't it? You want to be individual, I am this, I am that, but at the same time you go, these little eyes are actually of a more gigantic eye. And whether you like it or not, we're all interconnected. And so when we do our meditation and pull more people on the spiritual path, we're not only helping them, helping us, but while helping the planet evolve and thrive. Namaste everyone. We will see you tonight for the 6 p.m. meditation. God bless. Take good care.